It's time for tea, and this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we spill and sip tea while analyzing the biggest entertainment stories. I am Ifeo Luo Oshinke, and I'm here with the smart and sassy Nimiya Dekombi and the Malian Beniak. What's good? <laughs> you took your Maliak. pledge yesterday, so it's only, it's, it's okay. it's, it's, it's only fair it's to call right. you a Malian. It's fine. The it's new great. member of the Malian club, That's fine. MBG. So how does it feel to be a Malian? An uh, older millennial. Older millennial. That's it. So how does it that feel? emphasis should always be made. Have you mm -hmm. been getting phone calls? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that deep, man. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's all good. How was your night? Hope you guys rested a bit. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't think I've I've got enough sleep from last night. I was I was out till about three a.m. this morning. Wow. And so I had to get up at six and start getting ready for work. So I don't think I got like three four hours of sleep. I go back home three a.m. I didn't sleep up immediately. Mm. But it is what it is. The show's got to go on. Oh release. my guys, our bollocks. <laughs> show's got to go but on. But it's man. all good. The show has definitely got to go on. And talking about going on, we'll be moving on to the first story of the day because um, Tiwa Savage is threatened to sue Pastor Biodo Fatou Imbo, who says, I am extremely disappointed, Koza. This is wrong. It will be recalled that David O released a disclaimer debunking a viral video that shows him endorsing the church program. The list of artists whose videos have been fraudulently used to promote Koza's program has grown as Whiskey has also reacted in a tweet saying it would never endorse fake pastors and most Nigerians concluded that it was sobbing David Doe. But that isn't the case as it was also approached alongside Tiwa Savage to speak about God and the videos were doctored to promote the church event. Hmm. This is deep. Yeah. Like, I think they should take legal actions yes, if they had no knowledge. It's, it's really, it's really, and really for pathetic. Me, for me, it just reveals to me that Biodu Fatoibu has some shady business. Even if he says that he's not Monkey guilty, business. Mm. even if he says he's not guilty of what Busala Dakolo accused him of, this just proves to that so many people that person. exactly that he's not a straightforward person. If you want this artist to promote your event, why not just go straight up to them directly and then tell them, okay, this is what we need you for? But then you're not going behind their back. My thought is, to um, Tonto DK is. Um uh, exactly. King supporter of Kosa. But Brisky your... too is also a yeah, King so supporter. A very, so... a very close ally. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Why not so why don't them? you use those people? Because they have the amount of influences yes. that these people would probably, or even yes. more. And, in and some apparently, cases. apparently, what happened was that there was a competition in church for who could make like the best advertisement. Four thousand dollars. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. so you know, I saw one on their Instagram page about yes. a guy that was rapping with a Ghana must go, mm -hmm. saying he was going to Abuja yeah. and he was trying to get into a. So it was a competition about who so could do the best like, advertisement, and then that led to people now going to Ghana. But he's taking down all the posts, though. The ones yes. with whiskey, um, Tiwa Savage, and it's been taken yeah, down. Yeah, because they said they were going to take. Legal action. But so regardless, thing. they should still take legal action. It's yeah. a load out dirty shame where the the secular begins to mm. reprimand yeah, exactly the spiritual. The spiritual, the religious. You know, the religious. It's it's yes. pretty it's a low down dirty shame that you will actually stoop the Because you should be so happy to even be associated mm -hmm. associated with, you know, with something, you know, yeah. You know, so I'm sorry, it's it's a short program. It's meant to be like a spiritual mm -hmm. rejuvenation mm -hmm. exactly. tag, right? Tag twelve days of glory. Yeah. Why do you? Are we even doing another? Why do you need a Tiwa Savage? Yeah. David Why do you need a or exactly. to come and dust? Mm -hmm. Why not get your man Jesus or Nathaniel Bass? And then, aside that, even if it's okay for you to Something get a Tiwa Savage, a David no. Doe, or a Whiskey to endorse no. with their knowledge, and I don't get with it. their consent, um, do you understand? Um, like, let them know about it and let them give you an entertainment show for me. I will attend. Why would I want to use a Tiwa Savage to endorse a spiritual program? program. There are a lot of gospel artists that you could have reached out to who have a huge mm. amount of followers. So I don't Tim understand Godfrey, the mentality Eben, behind mm. this. All those guys are there. I mean, yeah. they're, they're the gospel heavyweights. You know, right. it's, it's, it just lets you know there's a whole lot of shady business going on going in, in on church. In, 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 in some church, you know, in, so, in some well, churches. I just hope this doesn't and end there, though. I just hope it doesn't end there. Yeah, and I hope that really for COSA members, they would just, like, begin to, I don't know, I won't say, like, start using their You know the saddest thing? The program has actually started. I don't know what day. It's a 12-day program, 12-days yeah. program. So I don't know what day they're, they're in right now, but mm -hmm. it has started already. So the deed has been done. 
they have already used these people already yeah, to gather people to come to church for this already. So I think the legal action should still be taken, regardless Definitely. whether they take it down, they write an apology, whatever. The fact that you did it without my consent, yes. legal action and should the still be taken. And the captioning was just mind-blowing for me, because I think Biodu Fato Ibo was the one that posted the Davido one, and he was saying that if Davido um, friend, can leave it to God, mm. yeah, he said if Davido can, you know, like, put um, God first, put God first yeah. then why should you not? And I was like, that is just manipulation. It oh, just, it's, 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 it screamed manipulation, manipulation to me. You are trying to manipulate the... Exactly. What's the difference exactly. between you and um, Naramali, who's being exactly. accused of cyber crime exactly. right now? Exactly, exactly. And you are a pastor, for yes. God's sake. You're supposed to be the leader of, you know, your followers and all of that. And somebody said something on Twitter that just made me laugh. He said that from everything that is going on, you can definitely see that Biodu Fato Ibo has an issue with consent. <laughs> exactly. You can see that he definitely has an issue and with consent. And sadly, Crest won't work in this case. Exactly. And that's why I drop my cup, <laughs> drops my cup. <laughs> it's, it's, a big, it's a bigger problem than what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's quite unfortunate. Like you rightly said, you're hoping some of his members, for those who would, would open their start, eyes, start reasoning, and act, Come start on. asking very pertinent questions. Yes, something is wrong. Something questions. is wrong. Something Why is, is it that every wrong. time your church trends, it's for something negative. It's never for you doing something good or something great. It's always, if it's not a rape case, it's Gucci your pastor. pastor doing something the extraordinarily pastor. wrong. It's the first, the first so fine pastor know. Nigeria has ever had. I the mean, first so, one? Yeah, Handsome pastor, we, 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 what are uh, the Pharisees? Yeah, way up more say, handsome. Uh, so, <laughs> so Kotie, uh, Pastor okay. Oyakilome, and the like. Oh, yeah, okay. Oyakilome. Where there is no clear dichotomy between the secular and the spiritual, then you all know yeah. when, 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 when the deep mess yes, and that's something what is going shady on right now. going on. You know, so where I'm going to leave the secular to endorse a spiritual event. That that's, something, that's, is really something, something is really, is really, really, really wrong. Really wrong. Yeah. And um, this is the time where we go on the break, but when we return, we have more stories to discuss on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Stay with us. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like God DM sometimes from Malawi, like woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the other stories of the day. Actress and movie producer and a happily married mom of twins, Funke Akindele, has expedited the arrest of a security guard who broke the head of a woman with a belt. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I saw that video yeah. and um, I went to the comment section and people were kind of like trivializing the whole situation. Mm. But we don't take the case of um, human rights and seriously. human rights violation mm -hmm. in Nigeria so seriously. People see it like, oh, what did she do? Yeah. And if you read uh, Funke's caption, she said she didn't even get into their territory. I don't know the full story on yes, this one, but I'm just going to address it from the part that treats other people the way you want to be treated, yeah. especially if they are not affecting you in any way. Even if yeah. they are, there mm -hmm. are other ways to go about certain things yes. than attacking them violently. Which I would, I'd like to like bring into consideration the issue with um, Shego and Rinze and, and his house boy, mm, which was kind of like the same thing that happened where people had to like step into the matter. I'm like, okay, this is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. Mm. It, I don't really care about what an individual does. I don't believe in jungle justice. Mm. I don't believe in taking matters into your own hands and being violent against another human being. Because there have been several situations where people are violent against someone and it turns out that there's actually nothing mm -hmm. you know, deep that happened. For example, the Akure, I don't know if you were aware of the Akure um, church that was burnt down because they assumed that there was a baby that was buried, buried you know, on the altar. Like and people yeah. already just sprang into action. They burnt down the church. And then it was not like there was no baby, was no baby. You know, that was on the altar. So 
in this part of the world, we are very, very quick to just jump into conclusions and just say, okay, well, maybe she deserved the Our so-called human she... rights activists, mm -hmm. I wonder what they're doing because a lot of them yeah. just jump on the bandwagon when it's somebody important, yeah. somebody, we are, we're leaving somebody a, we're influential in the society. We're living in a banana republic where jungle justice is it's, the order of the day. They still yeah. bond there. Very, they still bond there. Is no, there is no justification for anybody, even if she invaded your territory. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are laws in place for you to know what to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody's invading your territory. Take her to the police. And that's why you're a security guy. You know, exactly. And, and was the one the security guard. It's pretty sad. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of Fuka Kindele that she could pull out this action to get that security mm -hmm. man arrested. Yeah. So that is something that's to let you know it's something he's been used to. This is not the first time he's maybe assaulted a woman, mm -hmm. or, maybe, woman. or maybe a guy. Now something happened some time ago at one of the famous supermarkets on Admiralty Way. You know, I just this man was enraged. He was actually beating up one of the security doormen. Oh. You know, and people were like, okay, what's going on? He was like, he assaulted his little boy. Mm. You know, I think the boy took kid will be kid. The, kid, yeah, the boy exactly. took something from the store and was going to walk out with it. You know, this guy actually hit this little boy. Wow, the boy. I'm like, I'm like, don't you have decency? Oh, That's just a baby. You know what I mean? Babies yeah. will be babies. Mm. You know, and so for me, and it again, it still tells the kind of society we live in. Yeah, people yeah. don't have Nigeria. regard for other human beings and especially mm -hmm. women. Yeah. Women are at a disadvantage in the country we live in. And so people feel they have the right to do anything they, they will do against them and get away yeah. with it. You know, and that's why somebody would stand on this premise of authority and glorify rape. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. that if I spend money on you and you don't follow mm -hmm. me home, I'm actually gonna rape you. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. So you know, I think basically people should start standing up for people like that. When you yeah. see such going on, please start no regardless. Let us even assume she stole. Yeah. Let's it's imagine. No reason. It's no excuse. She did whatever. It's not it's excuse, excuse at all. You know. But I think in this part of the country, the problem is that we're very desensitized. Which is to what violence. I'm going to um, end this conversation with: that mm -hmm. the change we seek starts with me and you. Yeah. Until we change our mindsets, until we change the way we think, until we change the way we love, until we change the way we treat other people, we yeah, will never get that change. change. And I think. Kudos to Funke Akindele. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to you, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, so a table is being shaken, and it's by OAP for Lion, who tweeted that the broadcast media industry is so incestuous, everybody sleeps with everybody. Okay. It's so incestuous. I mean, I don't know who she is, but this is it. You don't, you don't generalize mm -hmm. your personal issue. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been in the broadcast industry for 14 years, and I'm sorry. I mean, a friend of mine, we're having this chat in, in the DMs on Instagram. I'm like, I'm sorry. You're like, I was not incestuous. I mean, if, if, you, if you're doing it, you know, there's something about the psychology of projection, if mm -hmm. you're stealing, you project that everybody else is stealing. Mm -hmm. And so if you've been sleeping around, girl, then not everybody is doing that. Everyone that. is sleeping no, around. I'm, I'm not saying it's not happening, mm -hmm. but that is a hasty rule of generalization. Yeah. To say yeah. everybody's doing it because I'm doing it. But no, you know, know this, but people say things you know, like, for clout. I don't think it's more or less like she's doing it. I feel like it's more or less like something she observed. And something she saw. Oh, well, she, she doesn't. Don't let us say affirmatively that, that she's okay, doing it. She's doing well. that. That's the psychology of projection. Yes, I if understand that. But, you want to believe but what if she's not surrounded by people that, that are doing do that. it and exactly. she is not and she's doing just it? Making a comment I'm, I'm sorry, she, 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 she dragged in the entire media industry. Mm -hmm. And we're one. And we're <laughs> well, part of I don't that think industry. it's like she's dragging the entire media industry. Can we read that statement again, please? The what? broadcast, what she media, said? The broadcast is media is so incestuous. So incestuous. The everybody sleeps media. with everybody. That is yeah. generalization. The so broadcast she, media. She say? Those she on she... TV, those on radio, the prints, the electronic, the mm. broadcast media. Online. Should she say some All of, of that. Some she of that. That's some of the people the you know. Media. Said people you roll with, the mm. people you know. Don't say the broadcast media. It's really, so it's, it's really sad that, that people... Yes, that's a history of generalization. Do you know what yes. bothers me the most? A lot of people do not think about what they are putting out there, especially public figures, yeah. especially people that people listen to. And then you just go out and you tweet anything, which is why I feel like we live in a world where we're all chasing clout. She know, or she knew that people were going to talk about this because she's... I'm not she's, saying that. I don't think she was chasing clout. Sorry, Nimi, I'm not saying that. Then she should, she shouldn't generalize it. Uh, that's that's, it. that's so the same I'm thing. I'm not saying there's no incestuous behavior going yeah, on it. It's, going it's, on. In, every, it's, in, it's every, in every industry. In industry. Exactly, Think which is what it. she's saying. But because the reason why she's saying broadcast media is because she's That's in industry. that industry. Yeah, but okay. It's possible for somebody who is It's my industry, but I don't know about it going on in this industry. Sorry, bro. I just, just want to ask Nimi. Nimi, you're in the broadcast <laughs> industry. Do you sleep around? No, and I'm not affected by what she said because it does not affect me. 
But Just these it, kind no. of situations, I read them and I move on. If, if, if somebody says all human beings are wicked, I move on because I know I am not wicked. Just like one of you people's popular um, words, men are phrase, scum. Like the men are scum. Like really, if like, you are not scum, you and say, move on. It's like say women are prostitutes. <laughs> well... <Okay. laughs> This is the issue of generalization. Well, that's so, the thing about women are prostitutes. It doesn't matter what you do. They are, Men right? already call you prostitutes, even I mean, if you're not a prostitute. So if you are not a The majority scum, of women are. That's just what it is. A I mean, what? Prostitutes. Every time there's an exchange. Okay. Every time there's an exchange. This, this is, is an argument. Every time this is an argument. An argument. Sex, you can't say that all women are prostitutes. I didn't say all women. You said a lot of women. Exactly. Lot I didn't of, say all, all women. Right. I but that, but that's, that's say, quite a lot to say. It's yeah, quite a stretch. Me to say all women. It's quite a stretch because that's I know, I know a lot like, of women that, that are mother. not prostitutes. prostitutes. Yeah. So let's just move on and it's They're time just... for a break. <laughs> but when we, when we return, myself and the squad will be discussing one more story. Do not go anywhere. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. No. Oh, <laughs> are you? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So Yellow Card, a rock band, is pressing on with copyright lawsuit against Juice World. It's no news that the band sued Juice World for copyright infringements in October, alleging that the rapper's song, Lucid Dreams, utilizes the melody of the band's song, Hollywood Died. It's been reported that the lawsuit is allegedly for $15 million, even though the band's rep has denied asking for a specific amount. The defendants in the, in the case include two other writers and and several music publishers and record labels. But in my opinion, the song just has the same flow and not necessarily a theft of intellectual property. Yes, exactly. I listened to, I both listen songs. to both songs. I sat down so to yellow listen card, to are they, did they It's just, a rock band. Just, yeah, I, I, know, I know Yellow Card. Did, yeah, they, but just, they're, they're, did they just come out of an amnesia? I mean, or something, I mean. Because for so which juice word are we talking about now? No, but I mean, the lawsuit, the, the yes, lawsuit has been since October, though. Before, Before he died, he died. and yes. they're giving his um, estate 14 days to respond to this. You know, but except, I've listened to both songs, and there is no... Stated, you know, that it was, a, a, it's possible to lift an original soundtrack, mm -hmm. you know, and then, hey, reprise. But where it's not clear that, you know, it's actually a lift up of a, of a, a song, yeah. and then mm -hmm. you, did, you did your own with it, then I don't see. I don't see this. It's as it's as good as a closed and casket. And that, it's, a, it's you, as good as a closed casket. On aside that, if you right listen now. to the to both to songs, do, right? Yeah. It's just the so beginning. Yeah, it's, it's just, just the beginning that. Yeah, you can tell a bit of a similarity, but it's not one hundred. But when you move further down, yeah, but when you move further down, you can tell that they're two very different, different songs. But let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's, not forget. let's bring mm. it back home. That was the same thing. Uh, what's his name had against Tua Savage? Mm. It was just. It was just a phrase. line. I mean, so it 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 does matter for them, you know. I mean, so. If, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to I go. feel like Juice World is dead already. No, I I, that's this why um, they're, they're bringing it like there are two other defendants, um, writers, music publishers, like the, the writers, writer. and okay. record labels. So it's not necessarily Juice, Juice World. World. So it's record yeah, company. Yeah, so it's record company. Yeah. Yeah. 50 million dollars is outrageous. No, they, they have denied asking. They said any amount the courts grants them is what they're taking. Their rep denied that they asked for 50 they, million, but broke? that's... Exactly. Um, Everybody I, I says it's just a quick seriously. way for them to get a quick bag. I, 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 I'm, I'm probably broke. for publicity See, yeah. because before now we did not really hear of yellow, yellow, yellow card. card. Well, I knew yellow card. Don't I know yellow, yellow chili yellow peppers. Me, no, no, yeah, no, I mean, no, but no. yellow card. <laughs> 
How many songs have they released? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, just an OG. Yeah, I mean, mm. yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Marvin Gaye's vibe. And the Marvin Gaye's, you know, mm. the, 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 um, the Barry White. I beg the <laughs> 60s babies, please come and carry your guy. We the 80s babies, let's continue the show. Oh and um, sadly, um, Juice World is dead. I think yeah. we should let um, we should the dead let the rest go. and just let this go. Call it off. Uh, that's, that's my opinion. But do your thing and let's see how um, the law would play out. But it's time yeah. for us to say bye on today's episode of Tea Time. And I would say, have an awesome weekend. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, goes to my co-anchors, Nimi, and the new member of the Malian gang, Benny Ak, for their contributions and the entire production team. I am Ifeo Luau Shinkaya saying thank you for watching and see you next week.